All right, we're back. Uh, sold all the stuff from here and in the sewer. Um, while I was selling stuff, I went to the uh, Silver Rush to sell stuff there. Uh, Glory only had like 500 caps, so it was kind of a waste of time. But uh, Arcade, where, where is he? While I was there, he was like pointing out, hey, that's a lot of uh, energy weapons. Haven't seen that in a long time. Um, so yeah, he had one of his little history uh, checkpoints. Um, there's like a couple of those, and once you get enough of them, like he'll unlock a quest. Uh, a lot of the other characters are kind of like that too. Um, but yeah, I didn't have like a quick save near then, so I otherwise I would have reloaded that and would have gone back to it later. Um, What's up? But yeah, I, I don't think there's anything. I'm really missed. very boring. You get better stories out of a freeside junkie. As far as dialogue, um, uh, yeah. So we can try to ask him about his past, but like until you get enough of those history points, he doesn't really open up. Oh, all right. I'm thirty-ish. Well, late thirties. I was born west of here. I was an only child and spent most of my time with my mother. My father died when I was young, and I never got over it. Oh. And I like medicine and reading books about failed pre-war socioeconomic policies. Right now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why hasn't some lucky man scooped this bachelor off his feet? Like I said, I'm boring. Hmm. Why don't you like talking about yourself? Some people do. I just don't. Look, I appreciate that you're trying to be friendly, but I'd just rather not discuss it. Okay. Well... I'm just curious, do you charge for cybernetic surgery? Easy as a heart transplant. Um, I'm going to remove this for now because we can upgrade it. Uh, oh, you do still charge. Okay. I was just wondering. No freebies for friends. Controls locked. There we go. All right, so last episode we got the uh, the key for uh, a sector here. Must be this one. Yeah, there's still enemies back here. Okay, stealth mode on. Keys. I just saw Eddie get electrocuted. I was wondering if it was that thing. <laughs> Ooh, radiation. Uh, hold on, did we miss anything back here? Oh, yeah, these are on. Like, what the hell? Broken, broken. Okay. All right. Radiation. Commencing attack on hostile target. Okay, I can't shoot him when you stand there. Yeah, I was just watching a uh, cool podcast I saw recommended um, on that Fallout Facebook page. They were ranking all of the uh, Fallout DLC. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool here, listening to them talk about it. Um, <laughs> shitting on uh, Nuka World for Fallout 4. I was commenting on it a lot about uh, Lonesome Road. One of the things I was saying was, um, or one of the points that they brought up was it seems like a lot of the story is is told to you but not really shown to you. Um, in the sense of like Ulysses telling you about your past and the divide and uh, 
that you were responsible for the destruction of the divide settlement. But yeah, they, don't, they don't really show you your involvement. And I pointed out that of all the like uh, notes for lore and stuff, all of them are from either pre-war or like after the destruction of the Divide, like when the NCR and Legion were sending scouting parties into there. Um, yeah, there's nothing really from the Divide settlement itself. Like, there's no real even like proof that it even existed. Um, like, you don't see any like remains or anything. So, I was thinking like one of the things they could add to it was like maybe a sort of like a vision quest where you can see yourself uh, in the divide, like in its history, like a flashback to you delivering that package that supposedly doomed the divide, and then. Um, Maybe after, like, you leave, then show you, uh, like, a flashback or kind of like a vision sequence of some of the residents there and see them, like, how they died in the explosions. Um, I was thinking, like, you know that part where we detonated a warhead and, like, a building fell down? They could have it so, like, uh, some rubble, like, knocks you unconscious. And that's when you start having, like, that memory of what happened from before you got shot in the head. And, like, maybe later on, when you're in the Tunnler uh, caves, going up to that last rooftop before Eddie gets taken from you, um, you could see, uh... Um, <laughs> will only make the pain it could be like one of those uh, nuclear warheads in the ceilings, and uh, it gets dislodged in an earthquake, and it falls down, uh, explodes, and then kind of like cracks a big pit in the floor. Um, and from that, like, you kind of fall down there, kind of like the same sequence from Point Lookout, where you're falling through the floor. Um, and when you land on the bottom, you're not unconscious, but it could be like, uh, kind of stumble upon like some of the remains of the Divide settlement. You can find like some of the corpses of the, uh, the original settlers that were there in the vision quest. So yeah, I, I don't know. I think that would be like a good way to, to show the player what had happened in the Divide. Um, and kind of like help add to the belief that like you were responsible for it because like they said in the in their podcast like the whole story is pretty much told to you not shown um, and it really lends on your ability to be convinced uh, in the dialogue which is I mean I, I would say they did a good job uh, with that like Whenever Ulysses is talking to you, it almost is as if he's doing like a skill check with you, like a speech skill check to convince you um, of the history. <laughs> so this is the reason we came down here, this uh, unique gun. Get it out of the fucking case. Recharger Plasma Defender. And I'm hoping that this will be compatible with some of the GRA mods. Ah, it's not. There's a, um, a mod that like makes the World of Pain weapons compatible with those. I might have to look into that because... Alright, so it's using the Eve textures, which is good. I, I definitely want to do that. But I also want it to be compatible with GRA stuff. Because the Plasma Defender from GRA is kind of cool because you can put a scope on it. Um, 
Yeah. Requires an 80 skill level. Definitely not qualified. <laughs> um, disengage. where we just were, right? Yeah. And this should take us back upstairs. And disengage. And... Uh, yeah, that's where we were. Okay. Um... I don't really want to have to come back here to loot the place, so let's just uh, take care of this now. If there's anything left, did I already? I must have already grabbed all this, yeah. Okay. So let me check my notes here and see where we're going to go next. Um, oh, and the the podcast, it was from Cringetopia, spelled with a K, if you're interested in checking that out, because I think it was a pretty good story, uh, pretty good dialogue uh, regarding all the DLCs. And I think they were they were pretty fair on them. I think uh, Old World Blues, uh, yeah, that was their their number one. Which I'll be honest, uh, originally I didn't like Old World Blues because I thought it was like kind of childish. Um, but they made a good point. It's it's part of the Fallout lore that some things are wacky and zany, um, and it is. As they described it, it was like the retirement home, <laughs> which I definitely agree. I use that as my player home. Um, I think it's got the best like amenities for all that. All right, we definitely got everything here. Is this the right way out? All right, so I think there was a tunnel here. Oh, wait a minute, no. Not this way, this, yeah, we're trying to go over here. And then this leads to the Nipton sewer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So let's go here. And we'll, once we clear this out, we'll figure out where we're going next. Definitely not qualified to do that gun. Machine head. Screenshot of that. Is this a sewer or a train line? Frenzied. <laughs> yeah, kill him. Watch out. Going in. It's way too 
right here. Okay, now it's way too dark. just fix your limbs, not your actual health. If you're a doctor, you should know that. Nipped in sewer staff key. Okay. Alright, if I put my light on... It's like... Two... Dark to see without night vision, too bright to see with it. Um, so from the vanilla game, yeah, this was a bug from the vanilla game. You could put a RCW recycler on a recharger pistol. Oh shit! Does it actually? Hmm. <laughs> it makes it invisible. That's funny. I can shoot lasers from my fingers. Ah, the whole... <laughs> All right. Should go see the boomers to get that rebreather. Could be useful. You're gonna learn how Uncle Sam deals with dummy maggots. Tell Mama I've done my best. Thing lawful use of deadly force. Oh god, there's so many of them. Huge rat. In my medical opinion, that could have gone better. <laughs> In my lack of a medical opinion, I would agree with you. back here. Oh god, more tunnels. It's the thing with a world of pain, it like just goes on forever. Go into one cave. Suddenly you're following ten more across the Mojave. Nipton Sewer Security Key Card. Sewer Dweller. Let's read these. I think there's a 
couple of notes we picked up. We didn't make, ah, fuck. All right, weapon research supervisor note. It's been literally less, oh wait, we already read this, right? Yeah. Okay, that was from the front desk. Researcher defender, uh, recharger defender mark 15 test notes. We have finally achieved stability with the recharge unit. It pulls energy from every available source and stores it in order to replenish the energy cell unit as and when required. Unfortunately, we cannot match the microbreeder for recharge times, but this is certainly a big step in the right direction. Okay. Not sure why the others don't follow me down here, but that suits me just fine. I'm not scared of a few rats. They're my dinner, not the other way around. Lots of locked doors down here. Uh, security doors seem faulty. I managed to temporarily short it out with my cattle prod. Not sure how many times I can do that before this thing runs out of battery for good or I fry a control panel. On the plus side, I think the key card I found in the security office will fit that fence in the tunnel. It looked like there was a military facility of some kind down here. With a bit more luck, I'll score me some valuable salvage. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> what a shame. So is this where we came from? Yeah. That was the gate, so he already we already opened that. down here. I guess that could have gone right. Ooh, leveled up. Alright, let's max this out. Um, and then... Oh, I thought this was 70. Oh, that's right, because we had the, uh, uh, the voice modulator. Could be good. Significantly increase. That could also be good. That's also good. I don't want to get this one just because I feel like it... I don't know. It kind of detracts from some of the gameplay value. You're so sneaky, you can sneak even with your Pip-Boy light on. <laughs> you gain a sneak bonus. That's kind of... Uh, that might be useful just because of how dark it is in the game. 25% um, additional damage. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that one. I'm not really hurting for damage in uh, VATS at the moment, so...
a shame. Ah, fuck. <laughs> right as I was saying, I don't need the light step perk. Here we go. What? What's back there? Oh, he's in the... Pit stop bomb shelter. Okay. Yeah, and th this one links up to. So we've been here. And it looks like these guys have respawned. Um. All right, so we've already been here. This was where there was the the guy in the VR game. Uh, so we don't need to go through there again. Still got some more sewer to explore. All right. Uh, I think. Okay, that's where the cattle prod was up there. Just lead straight to Nipton, right? Testing site? Ladder to Nipton. Okay. Well, I guess we're done here. Okay. off. <laughs> uh, who's over there? Oh, is it just scorpions? Probably. Yeah, I see him. Got some scorpions. Here we go. I guess that could have gone worse. Yep. What a shame. All right, so from where we're at, I feel like we had a quest nearby here. Was it one of the packages? up by Bonnie Springs. Uh, what about the other one? That's down there. What? Um, Canyon Utility Station. Ave Drive-In. So we probably picked up a quest that revealed this map marker. Because we haven't been over there, so I don't know why this would be on our map. Let's see. one here oh, well I guess there's that yeah let's, uh, yeah I'm thinking about maybe just going ahead and doing old world blues wouldn't hurt
hate how, like, even though I don't have the default rounds, I still have to load the extra ones in. Pretty special ones in. <laughs> eh, nothing great. Parasite things from They're from like an aliens movie. Did I fall in this? <laughs> it would be scary if a giant worm just crawled up and just swallowed me there. All right. The next place I had on my list was this Hopewell Apartments, because we discovered it, but we didn't go in. Just want to get that out of the way before we forget about it, you know. Most of these places on the map, I, if it's discovered on the map, I assume we already checked it out. Um, yeah, so we're going to cut here, and we'll be back next time.